Welcome back, everybody, to another segment of Super Tuesday on the Educational AD Podcast. We'll be right back with today's Super Tuesday guests, but first we want to acknowledge our great sponsors. You've heard me say many times, these are companies I used as an athletic director. You should be using them too. So don't hit that fast forward button. Stay with us for the next three minutes as we give our sponsors their shout out. Here we go. We want to say thanks to Home Campus for their support of the podcast. Home Campus is the official and exclusive high school and state association management platform for us. It's also your one-stop platform for things like scheduling, athletic clearance and eligibility, digital forms and signatures, working with parents, tracking coaches, and a whole lot more. To get started, all you have to do is go to homecampus.com, homecampus.com. We also want to say thank you to Vital Signs Wall of Fame. If you're looking for a really cool way to recognize your school record holders uh, for all the events, for all the sports, or your school's Hall of Fame, go to vitalsignswalloffame.com. Check out their interactive uh, touchscreen, that's right, touchscreen video consoles. VitalSignsWallOfFame.com. Mention the podcast, you'll get a nice discount. We also want to thank our friends at Snap Mobile. That's the parent company. Snap Raise is the platform. Have you ever spent weeks and weeks with a fundraiser and then got little, if any, return? No more. Go to SnapRaise.com. Hands down, the best online fundraiser out there. They also have a lot of other platforms like Snap Sponsor, Snap Store, and FanX. You can check out, but Snap Raise, that's the fundraising platform. It works. Go to snapraise.com to get started. We want to say thanks to our good friends at Gipper. Go to gipper.com. Start creating world class marketing content for your school's social media channel. It's going to help you celebrate your teams and promote your athletes. Gipper is used and trusted by over 3,000 athletic programs across the country. It's professional graphic design made simple. That's gipper.com. We also want to say thanks to Hometown Ticketing, the leading digital ticketing provider to schools and colleges. Go to hometownticketing.com. Uh, their team is going to show you how to make the best online ticketing solution. It's digital ticketing that offers more. Hometownticketing.com. We also want to say thanks to our good friends at Athletic Surveys from Lifetrack. Go to athleticsurveys.com. They're going to create a custom survey that will let you take the pulse of your parents and your student athletes. Athletic directors already hear back from the complainers, but Athletic Surveys is going to connect you not just with them, but also with the people that love and support your program. And that's a tremendously valuable piece of information to have when you're talking with a frustrated parent or your principal, or your school board. Go to athleticsurveys.com to get started. We want to say thanks to our good friends at Huddle. Go to huddle.com and change the way you see the game. As a football coach, I used Huddle for years. But as an athletic director, I made sure that our school was a Huddle school. And our coaches just loved the tools that Huddle provided that let them coach our kids up to their highest level. At Huddle, we believe in sports and teams believe in Huddle. Join the 8 million users. Turn your school into a Huddle school. We also want to say thanks to Sideline Interactive, indoor score tables and video boards. Go to sidelineinteractive.com and schedule a live web demo to see their scoreboards and their score tables in action. Probably one of the best purchases I ever made was our Sideline Interactive indoor score table. Uh, their products not only generate income for your department, they also create the ultimate game day experience for your student-athletes. That's sidelineinteractive.com. Welcome back, everybody, to another Super Tuesday segment. And uh, coming back for her second go-round is good friend Jamie Pendergast. If you're new to the series, Jamie's been on the podcast a number of times. She's part of our Super Tuesday team. She's the director of athletics at Life University. That's in Marietta, Georgia. Uh, a incredibly successful uh, program by any metric, uh, whether it's national championships or GPAs. Um, always enjoy spending time with her. 
you and I were talking uh, before we started recording, and uh, I shared, uh, you know, we, we're both athletic directors. Well, I'm retired, but, you know, you're an AD. That ADs, you know, they wear many hats. They're always juggling a lot of things. And I use the expression uh, juggling flaming chainsaws. And uh, uh, that's a great visual, but I think you got an even better one. So what can you share with our listeners today in this juggling theme? Yeah, well, I challenge everybody to go to YouTube and um, search combat juggling. And I think the video that pops up, or at least the video I hope that pops up, is is one where it's not, somebody made it some sort of competitive sport where you got a bunch of people inside this. It looks like a hockey rink almost. Um, they're running around. They're trying to juggle pins, like bowling pins, it looks like. But on top of that, you have – on top of you trying to keep your own pins in the air, you're trying to knock out other people's pins. And so it's a little bit like tag too, where it's like you get hit, you're out. And I came across that video and I couldn't stop laughing just because it's like, it was like, I told my husband, I was just like, this is, this is my job. Like anytime anybody asks like my job, this is, I'm just going to show them this video. And, you know, I showed it to the staff as a laugh, but it, it really kind of hit home. And we had this great follow-up conversation at a, you know, staff retreat type meeting about, you know, feeling, you know, this combat juggling, that's the term that this, you know, competition gave it um, and how we feel like we have all these responsibilities and we're juggling all these different ones and no one could possibly understand about our priorities and what we need to do and what's urgent, what's important and um, really switching that mindset and making it more about collaborative juggling. And, and, and that comes from a shift in mind mindset on, you know, for more of an abundance standpoint, um, being respectful of other people's, what they're juggling, understanding um, that what's important to us might not be important to them. And what's urgent to us might not be on somebody else's urgency list. And the interesting piece that came a, across through that is we were, we were, if you change pins, they're juggling pins in this video, but if you change it to balls, like, right, juggling balls, and we, we named um, the different kinds of balls that we feel like we juggle from day to day. So we have our glass balls. Those are the high risk, high liability things um, that we deal with on a day to day basis. And different people are, have different responsibilities in different areas, but those are the glass balls. Like, don't drop no matter how many things you're juggling, don't drop that ball. Don't drop the glass one. Um, and then we have the rubber balls, which is you can drop it and it'll bounce right back. No harm, no foul. You just, it, you know, if you know, it's, you know that you're, if you're juggling a million things, ha hang on to the glass ball, but you can drop the uh, rubber ball. And we have plastic balls, which are, um, we can drop them a, a couple of times, but if you drop them more than a couple of times, they're going to, they're going to break. And we have these medicine balls uh, that we we termed, which are these things that aren't necessarily glass, um, not the most important things, but it's it, they're heavy and you don't want to stop momentum. Um, think about like a like a, a camp, right? Camps take up time um, in a particular spring or summer. You might not have time for it, but like then you lose your audience, you lose the momentum you've gained, um, those sort of things, and. And what came from that is a constant dialogue. We still, I mean, this is almost six months later and we're still talking in terms of, this is a glass ball for me. If you could just give me some grace, like I really need to get this done. Um, or, hey, this is plastic, sit on it. Like, you know, Max, give it give back to me in three weeks. And we use that dialogue and it's really helped us frame some of our different responsibilities and the importance and be respectful of others. And it was just really interesting. You know, um, college is a little different than high school, but there's I, I think there's probably more similarities in the differences um, as you are working with coaches. I'm sure you have veteran coaches that, you know, they, they've been there a long time and maybe you kind of trust them longer. You've got that young coach, a lot of enthusiasm, but still learning their way. Um, how have the coaches embraced, you know, this juggling metaphor? Uh, was it quick and easy for them or did it need uh, some management from uh, from your level? I, I laugh because 
at, at first it's like the coaches really grabbed onto the glass, like the glass, like everything was glass for them, which is just, it's just funny. Um, and that's what makes them good coaches too, is, is the urgency and importance that they put in everything. But um, they kind of gravitated towards that language. Everything's glass. But like the important thing is having that terminology, we were a bit, we were able to slow it down and be like, is this really glass? It's not. And so slow them down, allow them to take a breath. Um, hey, this is important, but not necessarily urgent. Um, and, and so we got a little bit more familiar with how to categorize several things. Um, you know, no one's busier than a head coach, particularly one in season. And, you know, if I'm seeing them get caught up in something that I don't feel like is the best use of their time and they might be in the weeds with it, it's almost giving them permission to be like, hey, set that down. Like, that's rubber. Like, it, like you can pick that up at the end of the season. No harm, no foul. Like, you're fine. And they're like, oh, yeah, okay. And so it's kind of given us some language around it um, that is is fun to an extent. It kind of gives us a different way of talking about it. Um, but we also tend to get caught up in the everything's glass and that's, that's not the case. And so slowing it down and making them think about why. Um, the other big thing that came across is like understanding different people's glass balls. And so, um, you know, if, you know, we might not, we ha might have an athletic trainer and a coach that, you know, disagree on something, but coining something as glass helps us reframe it as, ah, yes. Like ultimately the liability in this decision rests with the athletic trainer rather than the coach. And so it kind of gives us terminology to help remind them in different circumstances, um, different things are different balls for different people. Um, we try to avoid uh, ambush questioning on the podcast, but I, I'm, I'm gonna ambush you here. Uh, looking at you know your position now as an athletic director, and again, for our listeners, if you're new, uh, Jamie's done an incredible job helping build the, the Life University program. It's a national champion in a number of sports. Uh, you know, GPAs do e extremely well. Um, what's one of your glass balls and how are you working to maybe make it not so breakable? Yeah, well, anything that fits under the risk mitigation category, it's like the most unsexy, like, glass ball out there, I think. Um, but it's, that's what it is. And so, um, you know, ultimately I am responsible for the financial responsibility of athletics as it relates to life university. Um, and another huge piece is the branding and the PR aspect of it. So, um, you know, keeping an eye on, um, a, are we hitting our business deliver roles? Right. You talk like we need to drive revenue to the university, like, that is my job um, in a nutshell, but the other piece is right, providing this student athlete experience. And a lot of that is around what people are we putting in front of them? And are they taking care of the program like it's theirs? And you know, we don't want any bad branding, bad PR. And most of the time that comes from oversight in these different risky areas. Yeah. Uh, again, the, the, there's that expression. It's an old one. I certainly didn't invent it. You know, the buck stops here and, and mm -hmm. in those types of situations. Yeah. Uh, the athletic director, uh, you're, you're stopping a lot of bucks. Uh, very cool. Thanks uh, uh, for adding to my, uh, uh, I guess, toolbox, if you will, combat juggling. I'm going to check that out. Yeah. On YouTube, but I, I love the metaphor. I love the way that you uh, worked it in with your staff and with, you know, the, the rest of the college. You said you presented to uh, the college as well. Um, again, for uh, a new listener or an old listener, um, share, you know, where Life University is at, how they can find out more information. Sounds like a great place if they have some senior student athletes. And also, what's your contact information? How can someone add you to their network? Yeah, Life University, just north of Atlanta, Marietta, Georgia. Uh, we're an NAI institution. Um, and I, I think go to liferunningeagles.com 
or follow us on, like, at Life U Athletics on social media, and you'll see and hear a lot about um, our successes. Um, overall, the enrollment's about 3,000. A lot of chiropractic students, we have about 800 undergrads um, across, I think we have 14 different undergraduate majors now. Um, but you can't beat the location. You can't beat, I think, the environment that Life University provides. And so the talented student athletes that are hungry for a good experience, but to compete for championships, um, you know, I hope you can reach out and, and check us out. And, uh, your, uh, your email. My email is jamie.pendergast at life.edu. Uh, that's the best way to get a hold of me. Um, and I'll shoot you in the right direction if you have a question I can't answer, but um, I'd love for people to know more about us. And I think that, you know, what we try to provide for our student athletes and their experience is really special. So happy to share that. Oh, well, again, we're uh, happy that we've got you on our Super Tuesday team. Thanks for sharing with our listeners and all the best uh, as we you know, move towards the end of the uh, spring sports season in 2024. Thanks, Jake. For listeners, uh, we appreciate you. And uh, we also upload these Zoom recordings to the Educational Lady Podcast YouTube channel. Come back next Tuesday for another great interview and just about every day for new content on the Educational 80 Podcast. We'll see you next time. And before we go, we do want to thank all of our sponsors. Um, these are companies that I cannot recommend more. Uh, I used them as an athletic director, you should be using them too. I uh, want to say thanks to Vital Signs Wall of Fame. Go to vitalsignswalloffame.com to find out about their great products. I want to say thanks to Snap Raise, the best online fundraiser out there. Go to snapraise.com uh, to get started. I want to thank Hometown Ticketing, uh, the leading digital ticketing provider to schools and colleges. Go to hometownticketing.com to find out all the things they can do for you and your program. I want to say thank you to Sideline Interactive, indoor score tables and video boards. Go to sidelineinteractive.com. Schedule a live web demo and see all their products in action. I'd like to thank Huddle. Go to huddle.com. Turn your school into a Huddle school. I want to say thank you to Gipper, the official social media graphics solution for us. Go to Gipper.com, start creating world-class content for your school's social media channel. We'd like to thank Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack. Uh, we use surveys at my school for everything. You should be using them, too. Go to AthleticSurveys.com. And Home Campus. Uh, home Campus is something I used every single day as an athletic director. Go to HomeCampus.com. Check out all the ways that they can help you in your program. Thanks again for listening. We'll see you next time on the Educational AD Podcast.